the baby kiss? Aww. Where, can you share the mango with the baby? That's the size of the baby. Oh, that's the size of the baby. Is it big? Is it big? Good job. the mango oh well bye bye mango all done did you throw it you fed it to the turtles well hopefully they enjoy it it's officially our last week in this house. Woo! Yes. Peekaboo. One more week in this house, buddy. What do you think? Mwah. Not yeah. even a week. A week Mwah. from yesterday. Mwah. So, we're taking everything off the walls. We're packing up. And, yeah, looking forward to the move, I guess. up the last of the office here I'm gonna pack up the computer so you guys will be seeing this vlog as we move into the new place and I wanted to bring you along on the journey so this is kind of stressful with this pandemic thing going on and I got a lot of work to do right now but we're gonna make it through I'm just realizing I have like way too much junk in here. Like, look at this morass of cables and there's a stapler in there. I gotta clean all this as I pull it out at the new place, but I'm not gonna mess with that now. I gotta pack. <laughs> It is officially moving day, son. What do you think about that? What do you think about moving day? New house? You wanna paint that? Um, I'm excited, but I'm also like overwhelmed with everything. And I wish we were moving like straight into our new house. But, you know what, we're making it work. Oh. Okay, a couple things. Man, it's hard to believe it's been two and a half years since we lived in this house. Little adjustment here. We wouldn't have a place to live right now if it weren't for the Skydive Sebastian community. So I wanted to give a big thanks to Amanda. Big thanks to Barrick. Um, man, you both uh, helped us out quite a bit and we do appreciate it. We're definitely gonna show that appreciation to you guys. Okay, back to it. It's our new home for a month. Ironically, it is the same exact layout as our new place. Come on, buddy. <laughs> this is kind of what our new house is gonna look like. Here's the kitchen. Okay, here's the thing room. It's like the exact same layout, almost, which is crazy. I walked in here the first time and I was like, this is kind of spooky. We're actually, we're getting the truck tomorrow to move the big stuff, but we're moving in tonight. We're gonna sleep there and figured, hey, better move all the stuff that we can today. That way we just have the big stuff and 
we don't have to stress about tomorrow's work. This house is starting to look kind of empty. We've actually moved like our stuff out except for the big furniture. My advice to you all is if you're gonna buy a new house, don't do it, do it during an economic crisis, a global pandemic, and while your wife is five months pregnant. Uh, we could have chose such a better time to do this. But uh, you know, we need the space. Uh, we found the right place and it just kind of felt like it was the right time to pull the trigger. So I'm lucky that I'm able to still work in digital marketing and we're able to make this move. So I do expect, um, I don't know if you guys know anything about economics, I don't know a damn thing. But I do know that in a recession, house prices are probably gonna go down, we're probably gonna be upside down on this place for a couple years. But hey, you gotta live somewhere and you know, over the long term, the value's gonna increase. We're just a few miles from the beach, right on the water, we're in a big retirement community, so yeah. It's gonna get there. Man, it's like 3.30 and uh, Amber is five months pregnant, right? So she can't really carry anything. So I just been carrying everything myself while she packs up boxes. Uh, she's resting right now and Rhett's taking a nap at the new place. So I am here moving all the electronics. I wanna get at least one or two more runs in today before we get everybody to help move the furniture tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I'm starting to feel pretty good about it. Yeah, even as far as yesterday, you know, I had a lot of work to do and it felt like a big task, but I feel like we are getting there today. This morning was an awful lot like being in the military again. Those of you who are in the military will appreciate that the truck showed up three hours late and it was too small and it was gonna cost extra. And we had to do more with less. It was chaos. Yeah, we still had to move, so we made it happen. Thanks to my dad and Mason and Sean and his kid and you. I um, guess. We made it happen, and we only have to do this again later this month. <laughs> but we made it. We're all out of the old house. We just got to go and clean up that one, and then we're good to go. The neighbors here are, uh, well, let's just say we can hear everything that they're saying. Loudly. Well, they, it looks like they have a pool. They do have a pool. I'm jealous. My PS one day. So. <laughs> Let me tell you about the latest season Although of our new Throne house, of Games. Our new house doesn't have any backside neighbors directly, which I really That's like That's true, which is going to be nice. But we need to get a fence. I like the fence here. Yeah, the fence. Guys. Like, yeah. for example, I have no idea where my son is. And we don't have to worry, because he's fenced in. <laughs> <laughs> 